I'm lucky I'm single right now because I could probably get a girl pregnant with this. Cause what up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be making raindrop donuts. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. I'm using about two cups of water. I'm using three tablespoons of agar agar powder. I think that's how you say it. agar agar. Three tablespoons. I found this recipe online, so I just followed it to the T. Got my donut tray here, and I'm just pouring it in. Looks a little murky. And then when I pulled it out after three hours, it completely failed. And I sent some pictures to Roy. This is what it looked like. Oh my goodness. And so uh, this is what it looked like this time. I scaled back a little bit on the agar agar part, but once again, it was still hard. I used about two teaspoons. All right, as you guys could see that the last the last ones I've been trying to do have just not been turning out the way I wanted to. You know, I want jiggly, I want stuff that holds together. So I did a little research. I found out making this, there is no like perfect recipe. Every agar, is it agar? Agar, agar powder is different. My powder right here, I got off Amazon. Every recipe is gonna be different for this, but what this reminded me of, of was how soft I've become because I've been making so many jello videos and I really underestimated this video because I thought you know I've done so many things like I, I love to cook this is not gonna be hard you're just gonna follow a formula that's just gonna pop out perfect right so I've tried it three times now that that was the third attempt you guys just saw it was like not what I wanted but this reminded me like this is what being an artist is all about you know it's like even in acting just like in cooking you have to figure out all these puzzles and work through the process of it and it just got me really excited to work on this video because I'm like oh my gosh I get to be an artist I get to find out what works with what am I using this distilled water or I'm gonna use like bougie water to try to get the clarity like what can I do different increments of the powder that's what being an artist is about it's about just solving problems and loving the process if you're just instant gratification you want everything to be perfect on the first try that, that's not what being an artist is about you can't be an actor you can't cook you can't do any of that stuff because you're gonna fail a lot being an actor and cooking like those are my two loves and I fail all the time at them and it just this just reminded me again how much I fail all the time I never actually talked about it in a video yet. this is like the fun part that being said let's get back into more attempts let's do this raindrop donut cake let's go all right we are back and this time I brought some more secret weapons. I got some distilled water. That's gonna help with the clarity, I hope. I had a really hard time finding the black sugar syrup, so I'm gonna just make it for you and show you how to make it because that's probably one of the hardest ingredients to find. All right, we're just skipping to my sixth attempt, okay? This is my sixth try. It's been about an hour now and the cakes look close, but look how jiggly this is. It's too wet. Over on here. Oh crap, the clarity is good, but the consistency, not so good. All right, this time I'm just gonna use one teaspoon and then two cups of water and slowly work it in like I saw in a different video that I researched. Now I'm gonna actually oil it up so it doesn't stick and uh, I'm gonna put it in. Hopefully have something that doesn't look like crap. Um, this is my seventh try. Please be good, please be good, please. Yeah, okay, so these ones were okay, but they're a little too hard and if you look, they're a little murky also still, but they're too hard. All right, this time I'm just gonna do half of what I did last time, which is an eighth of a teaspoon, and then work it all in there, and work it, work it, work it, work it, and then boil the water, hopefully for clarity. Oil it up, and let's do this, come on. Okay. Yes, okay, this one looks promising. I am on, I believe, my eighth try, so hopefully this one will work out for us. But um, I'm just gonna go put it in the fridge for about three hours. This time I learned a new technique where you actually submerge it in some warm water to like loosen up the gelatin so to make sure it won't stick. All right, the moment of truth, here we go. I'm gonna, oh yeah! So beautiful! I was so happy when I saw this and it felt so wonderful and they just look so great and it was, oh my goodness, like just, oh look at that, look at that, oh, oh I can't wait to decorate it. So I found this Japanese stuff called black sugar, it's a mixture of brown rice, caramel, and molasses. You don't have to use this stuff, you could just use brown sugar, but I saw that I had caramel so I fell in love with it. But I used about 5 tablespoons and I just melted it over medium heat and then slowly added some water to it. You just want to add some water and get it to like a saucy texture like this and it'll start to thicken by itself. And that is the black sauce that they use, it's really simple and it's beautiful too. <laughs> For the first one, I used the roasted soybean flour and black sugar syrup kiramitsu. The second one, I used a glaze of condensed milk and then topped it with some roasted sesame seeds. And then I also glazed the second one with some condensed milk and then added some sprinkles for aesthetics and taste. Mmm, I love sprinkles. Finally, we have 
what we got here. I have the sprinkle condensed milk glaze. I got the roasted soybean powder on this side and then the homemade kira, kira, kiramitsu sauce right here. A good bite of this uh, soybean right here and then some of the, this looks like a good bite. And I finally got the consistency I wanted, which was like a little jiggly, a little more jiggly than jello and more see-through. So let's go, let's try it out. Wow, that was like, that's like one of the best things I've ever made. Mmm, mmm, that is so good. Oh my God. It's so simple. It's like, it really tastes like rain. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like rain in your mouth. The condensed milk, these are ones that I just made up and I thought they'd be pretty, so let's try this one. Condensed milk, here we go. Mmm, that one's simple, I like it too. Oh my goodness. Wait, I'm gonna try this one. Roasted sesame seed oils and some condensed milk here. Here we go. It's just, it's just so refreshing, like, oh my, I, I can see why right now it's like really popular in New York. It's a very minimalist like dessert that looks really aesthetically so pleasing. And I'm lucky I'm single right now because I could probably get a girl pregnant with this because it's so, oh, it's so good. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to explain. I like donuts, that's why I decided to make it into a donut shape. And it made it a lot more difficult, but it is so worth it. Well, thank you guys for watching how to make the donut shape raindrop cake with the three different variations. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace. What's up guys, today I'm gonna be taking these Takis and making it into jello. Come on, let's go, let's go. I, I actually love chalky, so this is gonna be a difficult video to make, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I started out with a pot of boiling water, then I added about 15 packs of unflavored gelatin. Mix that all around. Mix it all around nice and yummy, yummy. Then I got two packs of blue jello, put that in there, put that in there, 